And with the fans in the yellow wall bouncing up and down, we are ready for Borussia Dortmund against Real Madrid in the UEFA Champions League knockout stages. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon. Lee, Dortmund fans have great memories of facing Real Madrid back in 2013 in the semi-final. That's right, Lewandowski scoring four goals in that game and certainly in the dressing room before the game, you'll be looking around to see who your match win is going to be. You need your big players to have big games when you're playing Real Madrid. And Dortmund fans always believe they have a 12th man in home games. I'm talking, of course, about that yellow wall, the famous Zud Tribune. Key begins in goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Tomas Munier as fullbacks. Mamou Dahoud starts alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Azar, Mendy accurately towards the far post and the keeper acquitted himself well yeah it was a good ball in wasn't it but the keeper did everything right Sancho Great disguise on the pullback cross, and to be honest with you, it's not going to get an easier goal than that. A simple tapping. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Dahoud and a chance for him on the flank space and time for the cross it's gone in well they're really in the mood here can they be stopped right place at the right time striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts keeper has no chance let's have another view of that goal well no wonder he's delighted they've been bossing this game up to now really should be an intriguing Bundesliga game the one we've got coming up for you here on EA TV it's Borussia Dortmund versus Stuttgart yeah that looks a great matchup doesn't it looking forward to some fast flowing football there and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger and it's gone behind for the corner
Emre Can. Wonderfully weighted pass. Emre Can. On to Holland. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. again here the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball and then through on goal do you go for placement or do you go for power well he certainly wasn't messing around was he absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish well all the day's frustrations are there for all to see the coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly Casemiro and looking towards the back post and so the referee blows for full time Borussia Dortmund are the team carrying an advantage going into the second leg well it's almost job done after 90 minutes Derek they need to be professional in the second leg approach the game in the right way but I'm surely they're going to do that what a performance well typically Torgan Hazard very hard to silence Lee I wonder what you made of his performance well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It's Real Madrid facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, Borussia Dortmund were totally dominant in that first leg. In all departments, they're absolutely superb. Really, really strong up front. Sharp. Surely this tie is over, barring a miracle. Real Madrid side Thibaut Courtois begins in goal Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back Toni Kors starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch and operating through the middle and attack today is Aidan Azar and introducing the Borussia Dortmund side Roman Burki gets the nod in goal Dan Axel Zagadou starts with Mats Hummels in central defence and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. The Champions League quarter-final second leg commences. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Royce, will they profit from this situation? Marco Royce! Oh, a smart stop. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. <laughs> and delivered by Rafael Guerrero. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Corner once more.
Fired over by Guerrero. Struggling to get it away. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. So a corner here. Plenty of space for this Dortmund attack. Pulls it back. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. the final whistle victory over the two legs for Borussia Dortmund well Derek what confidence that will give him a huge margin to go through into the next round played very very well that confidence you can use that you have to it's like gold dust go into the next round with that confidence who knows where they can go and I think it's accurate to say Lee that this man was the light bringer for his side well that was a really really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.